All right, welcome back, folks. Well, we are back, back here in the duck back. call we're room. Here again. Oh, take it out. Si. What? Welcome back. What in the world do we have to do to get humans to act like a beaver? Ain't because gonna them suckers ain't gonna happen. are relentless. No, no, I know, but that ain't gonna happen. They've got an ethic, okay, a work ethic. Okay? It's unreal. If it's, hey, if it's moving, they're going to stop it from moving. And if it ain't moving, they're going to they gonna start it moving. They will. Hey, look, the first time, hey, the first time Phil took me with him to, un, you know, un, un, he was draining the water off the duck hole, I just was totally amazed. Because, hey, he dug out all six foot deep at least and then eight foot wide or eight foot long. Now, this is probably, oh, uh, as wide as this table, okay? A hole in the dam where they had just done. He dug it that wide, eight foot long, and six foot deep. And the next morning, we come up again, mm -hmm. and it was just like he has never been there. It, just, it, totally, it totally amazed me. I said, hey, how many of you think doing it? A bunch of them or just one? He said, one, probably one, maybe maybe another one, maybe two. He said, but no more than two. He said, what do you think I've been? He said, Why do, every time I see one, you seem to put a bullet in his head. <laughs> he said, these suckers, hey, they work my butt off uh, keeping this water drained. They're, I don't, not, they're not union. They ain't uh, union, oh, that's no. for sure. They don't yeah, take they don't, Hey, it ain't no such thing as overtime for them. But they love working graveyard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, a pro that's a yeah. problem with hey, them. As I soon as it. the sun goes down, <laughs> well, that's when they're up to their best, okay? Well, here mean, they come. Them suckers. I'm telling you, you know, it's a drought year, so we got pipes going wide, in theory, <laughs> wide open. And if you ain't there at daylight with a shovel, you ain't got a pipe going wide open. No, no. Hey, that's <laughs> what mean, amazes me. Okay, look, Phil's got a pump. The one he used to have was what? It pumped 36 thousand gallons per minute that's a lot of water yeah yeah and he pumped it you know spent fifteen thousand dollars and didn't even get the whole all maybe half full you know the almighty can make it rain like the weekend and fill it completely up and it'll be overflowing that would be awesome so hey Oh, we need a front. Yo, anyway. I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, people don't realize what a unique property that water is. Okay, they really don't. I seen a thing the other day. I went over to Dave to just tell him to try to teach me how to play guitar. And he showed me where some guy, now look, listen to this. This is pretty cool. Some musician set up a microscope, a camera, and he put about 20 dots of water under the slides. And he sit there and hit a piano on, with different notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, for every one of them things, of drops of water, he hit a piano note, different note. And look, it was some of the most beautiful, about the size of a quarter it looked like. Okay, and it was the most beautiful, intricate pattern. And none of them was the same. Every note was different on the piano, and so every little quarter size drop of water, and it was it was blurry because whatever was in that water was moving. Yeah, sound waves going through you know, it, different well, no, frequencies. No. Well, I'm just saying, yeah. but the, it was the coolest thing. And look, and then there was also five grains of sand. They done the same thing to. They put under a microscope, and it it looked like some kind of critters, but it was. Brilliant colors, red, yellows, you know, just gorgeous. It's kind of like when you're fishing and you're sitting on the dock fishing, you know, because you ain't, you ain't out in the boat, yeah. you're sitting on the dock and, and you, dock you cut wind day. and you look at the post and where you just Sit. cut wind, that post lets off them little waves, let you know if you was an F, a G, or <laughs> or whatever it was. You ain't ever seen that? No. Where you vibrate it? No. I don't oh, know what yeah. I'm talking about. No, you. I've never, I've never noticed Guy, that. Guy, when I've seen Hold that on. weight come off your boat when you cut wind what? on the front of it, sitting on the seat. Hold no. on. What? It's like a compression weight. No, no. When you vibrate the dock. Yeah. Now that's letting off some gas, Jack. The little waves come <laughs> off the post of the dock. You ain't never done that? No. 
I ain't never. I guess I I'm just not I man enough to create that much but vibration. Well, you raise up off of it, probably. Hey, no, you got to just sit it on the board. And here's walk, a, hey, and then you watch the waves wish, that come up off of it. I wish someone would do every instant we got. I wish somebody would do that with a drop of water and then have it where they photographed it. Yeah. Because you're talking about some beautiful stuff. Okay. That's fixing to be a lot of farting next time I go fishing. <laughs> and watch the edge of your boat. I'm gonna Sit wait. on well, your hey, seat. Watch, it ain't going to yeah. do it if you're hey. standing up. Sit yeah. on your seat. Sit on your seat. I'm going to do it. Eat you some beans right. and go fishing and watch how many w compression weights yeah. you throw off of it. Huh. That's interesting. Um, See, that's, I'm those, just telling you. When we're going hey, fishing, J.D. Those are the know. little I'll say the way. most people just. It goes over there. Oh, my favorite thing is sit on a dock and then let one rip and watch that end post. Watch the waves come off That's of it. it. That's his favorite. Ladies hey. and gentlemen, Martin's hey. favorite things is yeah. better than I'll Oprah's. Guarantee. You you oh, okay. now, right. yeah. If you got that hammer yeah. gas, you're yeah. in trouble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where okay. are we? I've never, heard, gun of burst. I never hey. heard of that. Yeah. Man, I mean, y'all got to pay attention more to things that's around you. No, you no, I'm serious. Look, most people, uh, it, it goes over there. Yeah, you got to like look. I morning. never would have thought if hey, I'm, I'm I sitting was, there fishing. Ooh, I just got gas. Well, no, no. Oh, let me look at that end post <laughs> down there. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't, you know, you bother. I'm not aware it? of that of my surround. Whoa, or talking. Here's what yeah. you need. I'm not yeah. that aware of my surroundings. Right. Here's so. what you need to do: get See. in a plane, get it thirty thousand feet. No, okay. don't no, rip no. one there. No, no. That's Look. rude. At okay, right at when the sun is breaking daylight, and that's when you rip at, one. No, 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 no. Send the sun back is, down. That is so <laughs> cool to watch. Okay, yeah. everything is dark. You can't see nothing, and then the sun. Daylight, daylight's coming. Okay. Side I've, been watching, side, I've been watching the Lion King. Hey, look. Everything light. that touches the light is no, yours. No, no, light, somebody. then, hey, the darkness disappears, and you see. <laughs> we got, That's now we thing. did that. Look, we, at 30,000 feet, too, you see a long way, We buddy. did that <laughs> on the way to Scotland, man. Hey, I'm we, telling you. We flew the dark line. <laughs> oh, no. I'm it was saying. light on this side and yeah. dark on this we side. We chasing that hey, sunshine. here's one of them. All the here's way to one Scotland. That was pretty awesome. Hey, here's one of them scratch your head I'm, type deals. Kind of like the first head. seven minutes of the day. No, no, look, I'm in a plane, okay? I'm going to Florida to sing for the Navy SEALs with my band, me and my band was together. That does make me scratch okay, my head. Okay, look, <laughs> I'm at I'm at 30,000 feet, and look, the window beside me, okay? You know, you, you, there's a, you go through the cloud cover, uh -huh. and when you get above the cloud cover, yeah. it's clear. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, Always. forever. Okay, but anyway, look, right under my window, that's where the clouds are. The yeah. plane ain't, it's half out and half in. You don't understand what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Well, guess what? I always do this when I'm flying. We, we just hit an air. We got that 30,000 feet, and I'm saying a prayer. You know, give me safe, pa safe passage to wherever I'm going. And look, when I said in Jesus' name, I look beside my window at the white cloud bank, and there is a circular, a perfect circular rainbow on top of the clouds. And I said, wait a minute, hold it. I immediately thought, there's only one thing that's circular on this aircraft, and that'd be the jet engine. And I said, but that's below the cloud cover. So how is this rainbow laying horizontal on this cloud bank? And look, and not only is it laying there, we're traveling at 600 miles an hour, and it's staying <laughs> right there beside it's me. It's keeping up with you. Yeah, it's right there beside me. Now tell me how that happened. They say a, a rainbow is, is this thing about bending the light and all this. Well, it now, was in your window. You ain't going to get me how ripped apart it? in this comment well, section. No, no, I don't no. know. How, look, <laughs> how is it circular? A perfect round circular. And it's rainbow. Because God promised to never flood the earth again. Well, that is his promise. Okay, I know that. But tell me about how the circular thing. I don't know how God I don't want him to flood the, the earth, rainbow, but I could so. go for an inch and a half of rain right about now. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, Lord, if you can, probably more, more specific. Okay, okay. Right. here we go. This, this diesel oh, is very expensive, it. so hey, make it about three inches. Yeah. Okay, that way they'll fill the hole up. We don't oh, have to pump. Man. All right. That is, but hey, your will be done, not ours. Yeah, I don't want a flood, but I yeah, take an hey, inch and yeah, a half. Yeah, <laughs> I got it here, JD. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm so confused. <laughs> All rainbows are actually full circles. The anti-solar point is the center of the circle. Viewers in aircraft oh, can I sometimes see the that. full circle. I just learned something by J. Viewers on the Google. ground can only see the light reflected by raindrops above the horizon. So that well, they are circular. Yeah. So circular. if you ever see I'll a rainbow, that's airplane. why you ain't ever found that pot of gold. That's There's just no a way. circle. There's, There's no, no way end to rainbows. Right. I've just been like, lied to my yeah. whole life. Yeah. Just like there's yeah. no end to God's promise. You know, I agree. God, We're no. taking the rainbow hey, back, people. Hey, <laughs> you know how hey, many look, shovels I wore? Out? Look, <laughs> they've been lying to me my whole life. What? Hey, that Lucky Charms guy's full yeah. of crap. The little, oh, the little yeah. leprechaun. Yeah. yeah. You all seen the leprechaun say yeah. him and stomping. You lying sucker. That's, and that right there is why you cannot trust a Notre Dame fan. All right, folks, let's take our first break. We'll get out of here. We're going to take a break. Godwin, you know why I wrote Caution Hot on that cup, don't you? Yep. Why? HR, boys. That's a fact. Jack. <laughs> it's important. Hey, Look, it's important because they'll sue you. I don't want nobody coming in here I saying you didn't know that coffee was uh, hot, boys. That, that ain't going to happen. I know. But problems. look, when you are running a business, HR issues can kill you. Wrongful termination suits, minimum wage requirements, labor regulations, and all sorts of a myriad of issues. And HR manager just salaries are not cheap. An average of $70,000 a year. Whoa. Bambi, spelled B-A-M-B-E-E, -E, was created specifically with a small business in mind. You can get a dedicated HR manager, craft HR policy, and maintain your compliance all for just $99 a month. With Bambi, you can change HR from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat. From onboarding to terminations, they customize your policies to fit your business and help you manage your employees day-to-day all for just $99 a month, month to month, no hidden fees, cancel anytime. You didn't start your business because you wanted to spend time on HR compliance. So let Bambi help get your free HR audit today. Go to Bambi.com slash duck right now to schedule your free HR audit. That's Bambi.com slash duck spelled BAM to the B-E-E dot -E com slash duck. There we go. I've actually seen, in Germany, I've seen three of them. That's incredible. Three of them. I boom, would have never look, guessed boom, that a rainbow boom, was a boom. complete Right circle. behind each other. That was beautiful. Double I was rainbow. Living, look, I was living on a hill. I now, how cool would that have been? A double circle rainbow. That's what I'm looking at. But I'm saying the, the triple. Triple rainbow. Oh, that guy. I seen three. Double look, rainbow. And it was just like they were stair steps. Right here, one behind we're it. Back on rainbows. A little higher, one behind it, a little higher. Well, rainbows are cool. And they were beautiful. I mean, they're they're. I get ex beautiful. I've never seen one and not like a real one, uh, and gone. Huh? If who cares? I'm, if oh, I, no. I, you get excited when you see one. Oh, no. I, I agree. If I'm able, I take a picture. Generally, if I'm oh. not driving or something, like I'll I'll take a picture. And and I send that, to somebody. Me and Philip did like, that the other day in Texas. I I just seen one behind the building and. We, we kept running in the stupid building, telling me, God, we, we, it will ever these skyscrapers get out of the way? I we love want it. a picture of this rainbow. Thank you. Yeah, who doesn't take a picture right. of that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're 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 a cool thing. And, and if that, you, hey, and that is a promise from the Almighty. Yeah. If you believe if you believe in a good Lord and a good book, then you know why it's such a cool That's thing right. and why you're still mesmerized right. by and it. And if That's you right. don't right. know what we're talking about, yep. pick up Genesis. Yeah, yeah, boys. You ain't gotta go very far. You can just no. start reading your Bible at the beginning and you'll learn what we're <laughs> talking about with That's him. Right, boys. Ten to hey. twenty pages. But I feel the same way about a fire. Like, I can sit there and just look at a fire, too. Mesmerizing. I take. I can't off. imagine the first human that saw fire that built him a fire and yeah. got it to work and okay. said, now, oh, hold oh. on now. Oh, now we got something. I mean, a fire is an yeah. incredible. How do you oh, think hey. the first human made fire? Or was it just... I'm not so sure that they didn't capture it, like, from a lightning storm yeah. and then yeah. figured out yeah. how to keep yeah. it going or something. You know? It had to be lightning, Adam and Eve, lightning, right? Lightning, or lightning lit the grass, and then they said, ooh, wait a minute. We yeah. Now, what, hold on. What, a stick, boys. Now, but, but if yeah, we believe. The garden didn't have fire. But they got kicked they out of there. They didn't, they didn't have rain either. 
But then once they got kicked out. Because when God told Noah yeah, to build the ark. all the bad stuff happened. He said, I'm going to make it rain. And Noah said, Fire. you going to make it what, Lord? I'll make it rain. He I said, gotta, I'm going to make it rain. Because and now that on that, I'm going to turn the, all the springs of the deep. I'm going to open all them babies up, too. Yeah. You're going to get it from top and bottom. Oh, yeah. You can get it from all directions, baby. Yeah. I'm fixed to flood this thing. Ain't no beaver going to stop that. That's right. Beaver ain't going to stop this one, buddy. Guaranteed. That the great creature, which was a beaver, okay? He's incredible. (laughs) I'll give him that. That was on the couch. That was on the movie. Noah could make fire. Noah made fire? Yep. He sacrificed burnt offerings. Uh Uh-oh. Genesis 8, 20. So what if maybe... That's that's pre-garden. Post garden, uh, post a pre. What, hey, but, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say God said, "Hey, Adam, no Eve, real yet. quick." There were no trees yet. There were. <laughs> there was literally the tree of good and evil. Um, I love it. Okay. What if he told him, "All right, here's how you make a fire, real quick." And all this time we've been no, trying to figure it out. No, he just went. <laughs> yeah. And it. then they just captured it. They, they backed up. They a just backed up. Hit, boys. Yeah, I don't know. I I just I can't imagine being way back in way back in and getting a fire going somebody's job had to be their only job was keep that fire right. going yeah, that they fire call me the fire man. Yeah. keep that rascal rolling My keep that name. fire fine boys because if i get around one i gotta have a stick to poke i it. know okay or, you'd have been pretty good at that job. Well, i'd know. have signed up for it. willie Good would have been me. the greatest i mean keeper of the fire of all time i love poking <laughs> a fire i don't know what it is about spitting it. in one. Oh no no just sitting and watching Okay. Yeah. Especially if it's cold, because uh, you just got to look at it. You don't have to be close to feel uh-uh. it. If you're looking at it, you're warm. Yeah. Watch that rascal dance. Yeah. Just so it and the different color flames and everything. Yeah. Then when every once in a while, one of them, the log moves, shifts because it burn out. And all the sparks go yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, boys. That's yeah. What I'm talking about. So, yeah. Uh, that hey, gun. I'm going to bail, hey, one, tonight. I'm gonna bail one tonight. Fire and rainbows. That's that, boy. Boy, that's you never know what you're going to get up in this room. Hey, I'm telling you. You hey. ain't got a clue. I'm just hey, trying to you learn. the top of my head, you're going to get butterflies and unicorns. And rainbows. And, and, they, they, and fire. And, and probably some of them leprechauns. And, and a little, yeah. a little, little bitty fireworks. No, there ain't going to be no fire. Uh, there ain't going to be no fire. No right. fire. There ain't no fire left in there. Ain't no so. fire, boys. That yeah. fire went out long ago. <laughs> fire. Fire I've seen the fire. <laughs> Sometimes during the break, Cy gets a little fiery. He does. Sometimes yeah, on this, and it, it involves water. How come we ain't got no coffee? That's I don't job, know. Not mine. I don't you, drink you, coffee. You're I'm too young. Not my fault. I'm too young to drink coffee. I tell you right. what. When, here in about three minutes, you can go make you a pot. That's I right. believe make I will. Pot, uh, right. I think he will. And I'll take I don't understand coffee. coffee. No, nah, I'm not going. to. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, coffee. Has anything huh? earth-shattering happened in the media? No, absolutely not. This is, Are look, you kidding? So for the folks at home, this is when Cy, Cy's living the absolute dream. He doesn't know what's going on in the media because he doesn't the watch. Well, he I watches. Hey, I, I don't like the media exactly. to begin with. So you okay. watch Gunsmoke hey. and what's hey, look, Matt TV Land. Hey, I'll t- I tell you a funny one. Let me read you a direct text this morning. Okay. Talking about Cy si watching but then, oh, so then Cy si comes here, and the only way Uh-oh. he's going to receive news is if I read it to him off of this computer right. well, twice no, no, a week. You're educating me. You didn't know it. I know, but I want to be you. Rainbows were circular. I didn't know that either. So, so now, but I wish I didn't I, know the it's news. It's understandable why it was there. I agree. So you want to talk about Cy si watching gun smokes? So I left before daylight this morning. Yep. To go uh, work at the duck hole and put oh. up a deer stand, all That's kinds it. of stuff. Okay. Well, in my leaving, I. Woke my wonderful bride up before Ooh, daylight. Uh-oh. Before she, daylight, that's not. Nice. Yeah, because it gets, it gets daylight early now. Yeah, so. she <laughs> take her a cup of coffee. It was, uh, it was too bad. Uh, no, too she didn't noise. want none, but she texted me and she said, "She said, where's the remote?" And I said, "I don't know why." And she said, "Well, Mash is about to come on, and I don't want to miss it." So Brittany, <laughs> Brittany, before daylight this morning, laying there watching Mash. Yeah, Mash. I knew I liked your wife. See? I knew I liked her. I loved that woman when I first met her. Yeah. Okay. So she's worried about catching her morning mash at 6 a.m. this morning in the dark while her, while her and the dog wake up. That's it. I love morning it. mash. Yeah. Ain't that something? I, I knew I, got, I liked that girl when the first time I met her. I got so tickled. I, I said, Hawkeye. She likes old Hawkeye. 
You need to marry that woman there, Martin. But I, 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 I texted her back and I said, I would suspect it's under the bed because when my alarm went off this morning, it scared the <laughs> snot out of me. And I, I threw everything that was on the bedside table. I was not ready for that. Apparently, I was in a deep sleep when that thing oh, went off. My wife does that all the time. Because I thought night, I was shot. I was oh, like, oh, I'm dead. No, no. Like, my wife does that all the time. The other night, she just screamed and jumped out of the bed. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, well, hey, I'd start I, swinging if that uh, happened. No. Nah. Well, no. Hey, that's Phil and Kay. I didn't even <laughs> wake Phil, up. Phil was fighting the Indian one night and had Kay in the headlock. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, come you on. Did you hear that episode? No. What oh, happened? Oh, yeah. No. Phil's fighting an Indian, okay? Like a Native and, American. Yeah. And he's, when? He, he's got Kay in the headlock. Oh, in his dreams? In his dreams, yeah. And, and he done put K in a headlock? <laughs> yeah. Too much uh, TV land. Too much now TV that's land watching boy. too much gun smoke <laughs> and Lone Ranger and when you start, with wolves or something. Hey. Like, hey. unbelievable. We're dealing with the human race here, boys. We ain't got no sense. None of us. <laughs> Not a single one. Hey, well, I'm serious. I'm going to I'm gonna have to say no truer <laughs> words have ever been spoken on this podcast than that serious. line right there. Hey, none of us got no hey, sense. We're dealing no. with the human none race, boys. That is, uh, I'm, man, that's the truth right there. Look, Goblin. Sir. Go make you some coffee. Let's take our next break. Uh, we'll we're be back take right a break. after Go this. Go get us we some coffee, Don't you love a good story about an American entrepreneur? I know I do. Look, yes. if Phil hadn't ever started building duck calls, we wouldn't be sitting here right now opining about, well, anything we want to, really. So <laughs> just, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to box us into a segment here. What's but that, boys? Look, if you don't know what gun magnets are, you need to. You can mount them in your truck, under your desk, or anywhere you want easy access to your gun. A couple of our duck call room listeners named John and Lori set out to make the best gun magnets money can buy, and boy, did they ever the soft hole you better not get your finger in there the soft hole gun magnet they started making these by hand in their garage and john ended up getting a magnet with a perfect size and strength built Ow. to his custom specs they wrapped the they wrapped the neodymium magnet in top grain leather to keep it from scratching your gun and voila soft hole magnets were born with a perfect holding power and perfect good looks Look, you want to know where you can mount them? You can mount them anywhere. You can put them in your car, truck, tractor, beside your bed, in a duck blind, in a safe, under a desk or table, under a store counter, or anywhere you need lightning fast access to your gun. Every soft hold gun magnet is handcrafted in America with this verse from 1 Thessalonians on the back. Test all things. Hold fast to what is good. The 50-pound pull magnet is designed to keep your full-size, fully loaded gun secure. Even the roughest roads in America, trust me, they hold on I-20, so they'll work anywhere. That's right. These look good anywhere you mount them, even when your gun isn't attached. Get an American Patriot magnet, armed and beautiful. Come and take it, or ask about custom logos. You get to spend a 500 to a 1000 on the perfect gun, so why put it on a cheap magnet well, that'll scratch your new investment? Buy the best. Oh, buy American. You can't always carry your gun on your hip, but when you need it close, soft hold is a choice for American gun owners like you. Give yourself or someone you love the one gun accessory you'll use forever, a soft hold gun magnet. Use the promo code DUCK at checkout to get a 10% discount off your entire order at softhold.com. That's S-O-F-H-O-L-D.com. There's no T in there. S-O-F-Hold.com. Promo code DUCK for 10% off your whole order. Perfect Christmas gift for the gun enthusiast in your life. All right, Goblin, are you... You think you can finish this now? Yeah. All right. Well, we got coffee. Okay. Hey, I like the sound. Of that. I like. The he sound does of it that. every time. He I can't he help did. himself. He did it right oh. here. He's a slurper. Up oh, side turn. <laughs> that's, that's so gross in people's uh, ears. That's, but it, a, hey, that's a. But it's so good. Is it? That's a good cup of coffee. Wow, yeah. this is hot. It smells burnt. It it smells, oh, that's extremely hot. Hey, it is hot. Hey. It's good Slurpee, though. Hold on. Let me see your cup. Hey, it's a good Slurpee, boys. I don't want you to hit us with no HR violation. Uh, so no HR violation. Ex wait, That's what? What you going to do? He's right hot. He's right and hot. Hot. On. On, it's right hot. Caution hot. What Caution, was all that? Hot. Did that happen at McDonald's? Yeah, I just want to make sure that nobody tries to get us. That's right, boys. Caution. You got to have HR. Kyle's saying, hey, you didn't decorate it with the big we ain't got that I don't need to. We I ain't got, got the that $70,000 one around here. What's that? <laughs> We got the 99. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't Caution. afford that. Seven, we Caution. can't afford that 70 grand. Boy, I'm going to be climbing trees here. I didn't put but three packs in this. One. It is. Ooh. 
kind of funny that that whole deal started because somebody spilled coffee in their lap and said you should have told me two hundred thousand dollars in damage you, in 1994 really, I tell you, the human being ain't got no sense ain't got no sense and none i mean whoa uh oh no they got 2.7 million dollars who does that's just ridiculous that's yeah. why we pay so much well. for everything to idiots like that <laughs> I mean, who don't know that coffee ain't hot? Stella. Who don't know that? In 1994. Uh, Stella in 1994. Uh, that, no, that was on purpose. And it got her 2.7 million. Yeah. And well, now I we think have to pay something. more taxes because of it. She got on that Morris Bart hotline. That's it, boy. Uh, yeah. and, uh, well, call. so the, oh. the reason it all happened, though, is... The, the 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 coffee in the, at that McDonald's That's right. Fill us in, JD. was way too hot. No. It was like boiling. So, coffee's hot. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I can't argue I mean, with that logic. Yeah, I guess that's why iced coffee is the thing now. That's that right, way you can't right. get burnt. Yeah. You can get freezer burn, though. You can get a brain freeze. Oh, that's for sure. All them tough. Hey, what do you call those, by the way? Does brain everybody freeze. call them brain freezes? Yeah, brain freeze. Well, Sire that one time called it a brain sneeze. That's yeah. true. Because when I was growing up, we called it That's a cold bad. head. That's bad. Cold That's bad. head. A cold head? Uh-huh. And Your head wasn't cold. Nobody else ever called it that. Well, I mean, yeah. that's very Didn't literally what it is. It's stuff. But. It's a commercial. <laughs> How Native American Potter I would, continues I the tradition. You watch the strangest I don't watch stuff. it. I pulled up the hot coffee, man. And whatever website this is. You're weird. I am weird. Just coffee like is you. a hot You're drink. Weird. You're yep. strange. I was trying to learn why people write caution but hot. You but look, me on the rain. But here's the problem. So you're you're griping about hot coffee. Not I, griping. I don't drink coffee. But you entered a class action suit because Red Bull didn't give you wings. Hey, don't tell people that. So you got a six pack I, of Red Bull right. all because hey, and wanted wings now, to what go was with that? It. I Look, all it <laughs> he said. Did that, really? He did it. All <laughs> hey, I, you're an idiot. I got a letter in the mail. Oh, he was weird. <laughs> That's just. He's that's, weird I was young. And an idiot. No, I was like okay. eighteen, and there was this thing online that said Red Bull class action lawsuit. Somebody sued them because you don't actually get wings. That's not. It's false advertising. Yeah. So Johnny D jumped on board. So I was like, <laughs> hey, I'll hey, put my name and address hey, I, on I'm, anything. I'm I'll an idiot who's that. eighteen hey, years old, I'll and take literally, some of that literally seven or eight years later, I go home and check the mail. And there was a six pack of Red Bull, like that I had been awarded as compensation. Did you know that it literally wouldn't give you rings? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> then why did you sign that? I don't know because, because I thought an it, idiot. I thought it was you're funny. a troublemaker. That's the deal. That's people like okay. you making these like At these 18. people. Oh, Kyle! If you get in a car wreck, call this lawyer. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, make everything I got to buy go up because you're an idiot. <laughs> that just well, he, he done got my to butt. Hey, that just chaps his rear end, son. Oh, yeah, but does that burn your biscuits? <laughs> I just burned them off. I'm He's talking. never going to drink Red Bull. I'm the reason Red Bull costs what it costs. <laughs> oh, because at 18, oh, I, put, oh, I did. I did it. Stupid. It was. because, But I did it because I thought it was funny. And never thought anything about it. And I'm I'm reading it now, and I'm remembering. So after <laughs> after anybody that bought Red Bull in a ten year period were either entitled to ten dollars cash or a case of Red Bull. It's a wonder they didn't put you in that that uh, floor that's at the top of St. Francis. You know, the top floor. <laughs> hey, the one I was that in good thing with one, Red Bull the really one, gives hey, you wings. The ones that's got you bars on check. all the windows and oh. doors. Yeah. Oh, for a man that don't necessarily get fired up about anything, <laughs> we found it. We found yeah, Goblin's right. trigger. Inflation hey, due to hey, lawsuits. <laughs> Taxation without representation, boys. Hey, but they, they got I've enough. never joined another class action. <laughs> another thing, I worked at Riverwood, and these boys, they'd get a paper cut. They'd get a week off. That's just plum embarrassing. <laughs> plum embarrassing, boys. When you get they a paper get, cut, what, at a, a paper cut, a paper cut, and oh, a paper I mail. Can't work, I'm hurt. In, in a paper walk around, mail. walk around with a band aid on, pushing a broom because they can't work, <laughs> do their job. I got a, I got a, I got a bad cut. Wait, that actually happened? <laughs> oh, all the time. All the time. 
Yeah. Acting like they hurt so they don't have to work. Acting like they're <sighs> Well, I never did that, God. When I ain't I did, got much for them kind of people. <laughs> you ain't got much for me either because at 18, I... <laughs> no, I ain't got much for I you I signed either. up to get free Red Bull. You either, JD. I didn't realize the implications of my actions <laughs> would cause Red Bull's prices to inflate. <laughs> therefore, just really ticking John Godwin off in the year 2021. That's crazy. I wish I wouldn't have. It's so, just a thought. Look, I got a question. It's just if, a thought behind. With the logic of that, you now work at a tackle oh, shop. Oh, there ain't no Oh, logic. boy. If I go and buy some minors and I don't catch nothing, They're guaranteed. can I bring them oh, back? Oh, yeah. Here's Heck the deal. Yeah. Can I bring yeah. them back? Those, I'm bringing them back. Oh, well, the guarantee <laughs> no, is no. on the uh, – we have the guarantee on the side. We have the guarantee, They're guaranteed boy. to catch fish or – Or die trying. They're going to die trying. They're committed. They're but committed. if they don't catch the fish, can right, I bring them back? No, they died It's my trying. fault they died. You should have had better minnows. People do say that. And I'm like, I don't yeah, know. What I'll to fix tell you. Yeah, you right. fix that's the, me. That's the same people what that buy 300 shiners and put them in a two liter y'all Coke bottle. Six, and you're like, we're open at uh, 6 a.m. Yeah. I'll be there. I won't. Uh, with six. my mentor bucket. Thank you. Yeah, I've been bringing them back. Yeah. Returning them. Oh, I'll oh be, you're bringing minnows back? Yeah. Well, I got to get them first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll sell you a Red Bull, too. I don't want no Red Bull. Well, it doesn't give you wings. I know that. Any logical person would know that. <laughs> any person was logical. I did it because I thought it was funny, God, person, but I made a mistake. Any person with any sense would right. know that. I feel like I need to personally apologize to you for getting that free pack of Red Bull. <laughs> I, was like, I don't any- care if you got the – but anybody that actually thinks they get wings from drinking Red Bull – I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm. I am. Uh, that is a sad state of the world, though. What? I mean, it's a joke. They make a joke. Come on. And they literally. It cost them, and I'm part of the reason. It cost Red Bull thirteen million dollars because somebody thought, hmm. Yeah. And now, if you look at the bottom of their uh, gives you wings commercials, it says does not actually give wings, which is hysterical. The fine print. And, I mean, let's be honest. The commercial on the duck call room right now is worth $13 million, so they're getting their money's worth right now. Red Bull is. Uh, Maybe they'll send you some. Yeah. Red Bull, if you're listening. Oh, my goodness. I don't That's funny. He still thinks I'm okay. If he drinks enough of it. I ain't ever seen Godwin get that fired up about not nothing in my life. (laughs) I'm surprised. That's that's fantastic. I didn't know he had it in him. We I'm just going to be found, honest. Oh, we fine. finally found God was... But, so stu- boy, stupidity ain't lazy your bad. Stupid. Uh, stupidity you Stupidity that causes inflation. On my bad side. Stupidity ain't your bag. And neither are high insurance rates because of car that's wrecks. Right. That's right. For ambulance chasers. Yeah. He's out on that bag. Oh, what? Two things I can I completely agree with, I know a with, person that way. had a wreck. person run into the back of them. And... Uh, they was gone. They got sued because the person ran into the back of them. They got sued, and thank goodness for whatever insurance they had. They said they hired a stunt man from Hollywood, and uh, what? Yeah, and got the the stunt man said there is styrofoam in that bumper. We need to take the bumper off of the said vehicle and expect that styrofoam that's inside there because it it don't crush until nine miles an hour at seven miles an hour it's i mean still it, intact yeah where you get there's one of them that you get uh whiplash yeah muscle damage or whatever and one of them you don't and one of them you don't we need to see where that thing crashed. See if that styrofoam, huh. that styrofoam ain't crashed. You ain't got muscle damage, and they did, and got it. And yeah, that's what's up. I know a guy one time. I think that insurance company is awesome. I know they a said, guy nah, one we time taking it. There was a guy this one time ran into my truck and then blamed it on me. Mm-hmm. I got sued. That was the same thing. <laughs> Same oh, that time. was Godwin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got sued one time. Well, you parked it right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't there when I pulled up. That's right. true. It wasn't oh, there. I love there. it. Golly. I got sued by a guy that couldn't merge and just stopped on the interstate, and I ran into him. 
Yeah, then he I looked was- at me. And he drove off. Then he came back. He was like, I don't know what to do. I don't have a driver's license. I'm like, well, I appreciate you being out on the road stopping, buddy. Yeah. Then it was my fault. And then like six months oh, later, yeah. I got sued. That's right. And my insurance company called me. And I said, well, he didn't have a driver's license. They said, oh, really? I said, yep. They go, don't worry about it. We'll take care of this one pretty easy. But he tried to sue me. Yeah. Quit suing that's, people. That's what. That's that's the deal. That's what's wrong with America. Yeah. Especially in Louisiana. I ain't even going to touch the lawsuits this company's been hit with. Oh, so, oh yeah. Lord. Uh, they're, they're, you, uh, frivolous would be a kind term. Oh, so, good. Uh, the one's duck coming Just there? to yeah. get. Oh. To get nothing, really. But, all right, pop. let's take another break. We'll right, you out. can't get nothing. I'm just so car. happy to know to what lights up. Goblin's fire. I need to hey, get you up. Can't, you can't I'm get fixing to get up and run blood. around the building for about 15 times and settle down. You drink a Red Bull and you'll do it faster. Right. It gives you wings. That's right. Uh-oh. It gives you I got wings, coffee. Boys. All right, we'll be back. Si, do you have any idea how many joints we have in our body? I do. How many are there, J.D.? 365. Minus five. That's yeah. right. Subtract five. 361 for every degree of oh, really? spinning around in this that chair. Man? Yeah, from down your neck, from each vertebra, your back, your arms, hips, knees, and, and all the I know where them are. Hey, back. and you know what? All of them are going to have pain at least once in their life. Oh, well, Why, what causes the pain? Hey, si? hey information, boys. That's and, what hey, I'm talking but I got about. The, I got the cure for all of it. And guess what? It's what called you? Omega XL. Thank you. It's backed by 35 years of research and development, boys. Hey, and it's personally working for me. And I call them my first responders Thank because, you. hey, I open a bottle of Omega XL. That's what he does. Pop two of them first responders Pops and pay. Right hey, they run to the information and, and knock it out. Feels good. Love. And, hey. And I'm good. He's I'm quick. without pain, boys. Look, no Psy takes mm-hmm. Omega XL because of the science. When we're young, our bodies produce SPMs. They're nature's way of keeping joints healthy. But as we age, we don't produce enough SPMs, right. which could yeah. be why Psy was in pain. Omega XL can help restore your SPMs and rejuvenate your joints and muscles so you can move like you were when you were young. Amen. Can any of your supplements do that for you? They can't. Order no. Omega XL right now and get a second bottle for what? Free. Free. That's what I'm talking about. OmegaXL.com slash duck. Not one, but two bottles. OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. There you go. 1-800-844-4888. Not one, but, but two bottles. Two. And the last one is free, baby. Thank you. All right, we're back. Look, we're going to go ahead and jump into that hello at duckcallroom.com hello. inbox. Hello. At duck How call are you? Johnny D, since you're basically the secretary of this crew, what we got in there? In the hello at duckcallroom.com inbox, this is a good question because we use a word often. Uh-oh. And people got questions about it. David from Selma, David. Alabama. That's a, my hey. middle name. Mine, no that's not my it. middle name. That's Selma, the town the end right, of my on, first name. right on Highway 80. Just keep rolling. Boy. Selma, Alabama. From my time watching the duck call room, I pieced together that a rig is a truck or a car. That's not true. <laughs> that's but right. then I heard a boat being referred to as a rig. Also true. So if you had to give a dictionary definition to the word rig, how would you define rig as used in the duck call room? Si? Rig. Oh, well. Oh, huh? That ain't All what you well. call a rig. Oh, no. well, rig. Well, yeah, but that ain't what you no. call a well, rig. Well, hey, I have gave him my definition. My you say, you say, outside. You say get in a rig and let's go. Do you, do you ever <laughs> yeah. use the term rig? Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. all the time. I think a rig can be anything used for transporting That's anything. Exactly. Yeah. That's if it, it gets anything. you from point A to point B... Without your own power, oh, that's see, a rig. That's I think, rig. It, see, because I got a buddy who's who's like, hey, hand me that rig, and he was talking about a fork, oh, which transports food. Well, so a fork can be a that's rig. That's rig. <laughs> see, tub away a rig. I back up to my fishing rig. Yeah. Right. Rig boat. Yeah, jump in the rig. Let's go. A rig yeah. can be Get anything rig, that boy, moves stuff. Yeah, I go with that. A rig's pretty much anything you want it to be. Really. <laughs> You go, You're only limited by your Give imagination. Me that, Give me that right and read. There's a definition. It's anything here, here's you want right it to be, read. boys. That's yep. your, that's your this drinking is my, rig. This is my coffee holding rig. That's a rig. That's a cup. <laughs> cup is a rig. Yeah. Anything that performs a task. This is my, my talking into rig. 
This, this is my this is my tea rig here, boy. This is my listening rig. All right. Right we now. got so it, I hope anything that, can be a rig, David. So I hope hey, that's clear. You know what happens when you put a string on this and you pull it? It's called a jerk rig. Yep. There you go. That's jerk a rig. rig. You got that. Uh, your gun can be a rig. Yeah, hand me that rig. Anything can be hand a rig. Okay. Hand me that All right, rig. I got another picture. I'm sure we cleared that up for right, you. Put that thing up. There. <laughs> if we say rig, it's in context clues are going to help a lot. Uh, this is from Harrison of Hartsville, South Carolina. Mackay shot a first deer. And it's a nice one. Oh, oh that's what's up. And, I'll, and I'm more jealous of the hair on my man than I am of the deer's antlers. That's what's up. Because that is a solid that's nice. haircut. That's a full, I always a wanted full, curly hair. Them deer horns I are wanted, a little I bit. I feel like this is a good time as a PSA to people taking deer pictures. Let's stick the tongue back in its mouth? Either put their tongue up or cut it off. Nobody wants to see that poor deer's tongue hanging out of his mouth. Oh, but Mackay, this is no. He's deer. fired up. No, I know, but that's why I'm saying. Look this, at that smile and that curly be, hair. This can be used as a coaching point, that's right, right here. Right. Great first deer. I couldn't be more fired up for you. That is fantastic. Mine wasn't that big. The heck, no. Mine barely. Mine didn't even break the skin. <laughs> so they was just little bumps <laughs> on top. Yeah, yeah, that's what mine was. So I mean, like, no, I'm not just going forward. Let's get rid of the tongue. Either tuck them in, cut them yeah, off. Or cut them off. All right. I, I, PSA. Just, just a PSA for people. All right. And then here's a fun one. That, so That tongue's just vulgar. Uncle Si, you're aware that you are a legend, correct? A nope. living one. No. Nope. Like a living legend. I'm a living legend. And there's hey, stories. Hey, I'm learning stuff, boys. And there's all sorts of stuff all about you all over this si, great country of si ours. Si kind of been like Bigfoot. So, He's been seen everywhere. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, and everybody's cousins hunted with him. Mm, he right. died for Daniel him. writes in. Daniel Boone? Uh, I don't know his last no, name. No, his grandpa. Okay. I ain't down, man. But he is building a Kentucky-style muzzleloader. Okay. That's what oh, Daniel's okay. doing. Making a homemade gun. A flintlock. And so he bought this leather bag. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's you got to have up. something to carry your, bed, your gear in. Yep. He bought it from an antique you store. You shooting rig. That's right. You yep. shooting rig bag. It's a shooting rig bag. And he was told by the guy that sold it to him that it used to belong to Uncle Cy Robertson. Awesome. Did that belong to you? No, I had some bags that looked kind of like that. So I don't know. The Do gentleman said he bought it. May, it. Hey, it may Did have you been. ever sell a bag like that? No. No, si no he lost it. it. Yeah, Cy si ain't ever sold it. He I said he bought it off you years ago before the TV show. No. Nah. When he come down here hunting. But yeah. could that have been yours? <laughs> it could have right. been. I had bags like that before. It could have been. It could have been. Once upon a time, I used to shoot both of those. But I smell a class action suit. Back when oh, they was. Yeah. He, he said he, <laughs> he smells he a class right. action suit. Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's trying, yeah, to, just get get that free money He's trying to get guy one involved in this. Every leather bag and ever sold, Cy si right, deserves $3. And all that, it's not going to cost nothing. It costs somebody something. Oh, Thank it costs us. something, boys. Hey, it costs, free. It's just spreading it out amongst No, nah, we'll get the taxes from the rich, except for We're going to get the taxes from the rig, boys. Hey. All right. What else Ball you got? I'm there? sorry. We just Ball went down rig, a... What else you got, Sean? Another, we're, I'm doing all the ones that just made me go, huh. I like it. And Philip McMillan's not in here today. That's fine. But this is from Joe from Washington, Louisiana. Washington, okay. Louisiana. I didn't even know there was a Washington. Yeah, that's, I didn't that's down there around New Orleans. Yeah. And so he mm -hmm. says he works with a guy who said he was in a breakdancing group with McMillan. No, I could totally <laughs> no. believe that. Yeah. Wait a minute now. Hold it. Hold it. I got a lot of questions. Oh, oh hey, look. On Mac's behalf, since he ain't here, I'm gonna text hey, him. Mac can break; he can break that. That's what I'm saying. I totally believe that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That he I get down. I when put you get that him, down. You get as, him fired up. He, he down said there, they would perform at skating rinks yep. and even performed. Yep. At yep. <laughs> yep. yep. I don't him. even. I don't even need to hear no yep. more. No. Nope. Yep. Hey, that's true. I'm giving that a 98% yeah. likelihood that's of right. being of the being truth. truth. And that's exactly right. They even performed at the Miss Louisiana pageant. Yeah, I I mean Philip hey, Philip ain't ever been scared to get on stage. No, no, so. no. no. <laughs> the boy can. Hey, I'm no. telling you, the boy's got some good moves. I'm that, telling you. Does he? Oh, well, you. I mean, about? I can see him. Yeah, I can see him at a skating rink. I, I'm with gonna, like not buttoned enough buttons on a shirt. 
just going in circles. He's actually oh. got some really cool moves. I'll just tell you that. Okay. You're impressed by it. No, no. Oh, no. Hey, he can oh, yeah. get down. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that is a high likelihood <laughs> oh, yeah. of being the truth. Yeah, that's the a true truth. story. Yeah. Well, look, let's take that's a break. That's one of them you can check huh? it off the box. It's true. That's okay, true. hold on. All right. Uh-oh. Philip McMillan. Uh-oh. Alert. Texted back and said, yeah, tell him I said, what up, grip? <laughs> See? True story. <laughs> See? I told you. I didn't even have to wait for Philip to confirm it. I know enough I, about Philip. I'm telling you. I know you. I've watched him get down before. Okay? Yeah. The boy goes everywhere I go. Yeah, they nailed it when they said skating race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And when, he, when he, that come up, I said, oh, yeah. 100% oh, yeah. true. Yeah. Philip confirms. Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. And now we have a... Total segment when Phillip's back from his break dancing, yeah, right. break yeah. dancing day, roller skating. That's days. fantastic. All right, let's take a break. We'll I be mean, back. For, We're hey, gonna for get, a fat man, he moves good. Bro. We gonna get back in that mailbag <laughs> right after this. <laughs> so we back in duck season. It's a little cold this morning, wasn't hey, it? No, look that northeast wind was blowing right in their face. Blowing I got there. cold and I'm still cold. <laughs> That's why I got this sucker on right now. This, hey. <laughs> this baby's warm too, buddy. It look warm. Uh, it is. Luke, I haven't broke mine out. I fixed to get warm. That's how that coffee was like up there, it. lukewarm. You probably ought to put yours over your head, but that's fine, Johnny yeah. D. The Saints it's a have, Saints blanket. The people. Saints have been the Saints have had better years, but look, that's why our friends over at Rumpel have made a blanket. That can withstand the great outdoors. And look, size even got it on on the great indoors. Rumpel is on a mission to introduce the world to better blankets. These blankets from Rumpel are weatherproof, durable, and most importantly, cozy. They're made with the same technical material used in premium outdoor gear and activewear. They're awesome in the great outdoors or at home, on your couch, or in a podcast studio while you're trying to warm up from a cold morning duck hunt. And Rumpel recycles over 5 million plastic water bottles a year. Rumpel sent us some blankets and you can see these two guys right now what, are using them. They sure are soft. <laughs> For a limited time, you can save 25% site-wide at rumple.com. Visit rumple, R-U-M-P-L, dot com by November 30th to get 25% off site-wide and give the gift of coziness. If you want to be warm hey, this winter or you know somebody's cold all the time, give them a rumple blanket. I was fix eight. <laughs> all right, we're back. Johnny D. Hey! What's still in that mailbag, son? Um, I love it. I love fan mail. It's fantastic. Fan mail is the best. Sorry, I'm, I've been looking at my Bible verse that I want to have. We done got Sasa fired up. He turned his hat around. Ready? Uh-oh. He, he got to fed, thinking about... He fed to go okay. back. He got to thinking hey. about Philip breakdancing. Hey, he said, hey, watch hey. this. All right. Hey. Hold my tea and watch this. So this uh, one, hey. Reagan and Caroline... Reagan and Caroline. They yeah. email in a lot. And I think it's just Caroline throwing Reagan's name in there. And they send like riddles. She loves and riddles. Ooh. I love a riddle. They well What's the riddle you got? Well that one's got curse words in it. Oh well, I'm just kidding. No, it doesn't. Oh, um well, hey, shame on you. But <laughs> she's well, there's something about going forwards and backwards. What's heavy forwards and not backwards? What's what? What's heavy forwards and not backwards? What's Break heavy dungeon. forwards and Break not dungeon. backwards? My belly? His belly. John, John G says my belly. Is. Incre- that's not the right answer. Right I'm going to let you okay. sit on it for a while. Hey, and dungeon. she also said Pioneer Woman's lasagna is the best, which right. that'll get a response from me. Um, they also feel like I read all these emails on the toilet, which wasn't true. I was at work. Um, but she's, she's curious as... What role being on the toilet plays in our marriages? It's a very what? strange way to word the question. Yeah. Is it comfortable to talk between you and your wife while one of you are on the toilet, or do you keep that part of your lives secret from each other? <laughs> and that's a good question, I think, because I leave the door open, <laughs> and I'll talk to Allison the whole time I'm on the toilet. <laughs> but Allison closes the door and locks it. Well, a woman's in there for like 0.7 seconds. Yeah. I got to go in there and think about something. I shut the door and I lock it like, sometimes. But do you, would you talk? Like, oh, I'd talk to her. But the reason I lock the door is because she'll come in there and put everything I'm using up. No, 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 Hold on. Before using we go any further. What all are you using? <laughs> well, when I take a shower, you know, and I got my towel and my soap. Oh, so you. Oh, you talking about going? Shampoo. Yeah. Oh, 
it don't matter. <laughs> Sometimes I shut the door. Sometimes. It don't Here's, matter I'll tell me. you right now, I shut the door not because I'm private or anything like that. If I don't, my 50-pound lab is going to come in there and be a foot heater. Why does your dog uh, come in there while, yeah. you, while you're relieving yourself and sit on your feet? My dog's not allowed in our bathroom. I don't. You Does yours do that? The dog come in there? As soon as you get in there, here come the dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's weird and it's like when they do it, they turn around and look at you. It's like they want to be seen. Yeah. And then they want to make sure that they're protecting Why you, you while you're. Me? Yeah, yeah. I, it's like they're like you're vulnerable right now. I'm coming to protect you. So what's the question of what? what, what? Are you comfortable talking to your wife while you're on the toilet? Sure. Absolutely. I married her. Yeah. Or do you keep that like because because Allison will not like if I'm like hey and she's like no I didn't want to talk no. to her I oh yeah she her. don't want to talk while she's in there me I'll carry on a full conversation I will, uh, next y'all to can anybody. come to my house and I'll leave the door cracked yeah that's fine and I'll just shout out like I'm if cool. we're in the middle of a conversation I spent way too much time in a locker room for this to not be okay what about you Cy? Si? so what was the, you went to Vietnam I, I ain't got no Cy si talks oh, to himself to the whole time he's using he, the back oh hey yeah. ho hey. ha no, that's okay hey. boys. Size got seven people in there that's with that. as many hey, boys as he boys. refers to. Yeah. Hey boys. Ah whoa. <laughs> ha, good neck. Good night. Oh, and then you hear a that's little why I started laughing when you asked the question. Because yeah. you're just talking to hey, you don't need it. Hey, it's only hilarious to me. Okay. Over there in the That's zone, a great question. When Cy si goes to the bathroom, it's like Al Michaels calling a football game. Oh, hey, okay, boys. You get a full play by play. This always takes me back to Denver Airport. Yeah, when we got the lights turned everybody off. Everybody in there, I mean, the whole crew had to go to the restroom, and everybody that come in, it was, whoa, whoa, good green. Okay, oh, boys. Yeah. yeah. And then Willie finished well, first and, and locked us all in the, in the dark. The people in yeah. there immediately, they stopped what they were doing and left, okay, because they said, good green. These, these people are nuts. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. All right. airport. That's where you said all that weird stuff happened. Yeah, a sigh happened And there. then Willie turned the lights off, look. I and know it. I was there. Say, you couldn't see nothing. Black dark. Oh, black was, that was the word. A, that was a good time to have a cell phone in your oh, pocket. Oh, hey. I, I was just going to stand there. Because <laughs> he ain't got a cell phone. No, no, I afraid I'm going to get killed if I move. If I don't move, I won't there. pee on nobody. Yeah. Or nobody pee on me. No, hey, I ain't moving, boy. Y'all wild. All right, next question. Wild Adam out. from Kansas. What is everybody's favorite worship song? Adam from Kansas. Ooh, Light fire. That is a good one. That's a good because I'm a I'm a worship song yeah. kind of fellow. I like them songs where the men and the women have different parts. That's my favorite. Got one on that old school bag. Oh, I don't yeah. know the name of it, but a, Missy a melody, sang, if you will. Missy sings it. All right. Okay, and one of the one of the phrases in it is, you know, uh, God told the the waves you can only go this far. Yeah. Oceans? Uh, yeah, told the oceans. You can yeah. only go this far. It, yeah. Yeah. It's oceans. Yeah. That's, that's the name of the that's song. A, is that the name of yeah. it? That's a jam. Yeah, that's a good one. But, I like No, no, but I one time I one time I would I love for Misty just to forget about being correct in the key and all this and just let her rip. I'm girl can sing. Okay, I'm saying. And she does it in the right. Yeah, but she don't ever. The problem is you do just let it rip. So somebody's got to be on Well, no, no, no. I wish she would let it rip one time. Because Jason's always talking about every once in a while she'll be at the house and just turns it loose. And he said, you literally got to put something over your ears or she's going to blow you. So size on oceans. Galvin, what what was you at? Light the fire. Okay. Light the fire. Uh, Jane, that's they a good one. I, Lamb there's of God, a song that came Lamb out of God. last week called Lamb of God's another good one. Mm-hmm. Solid. Uh, what's, what's the one about when, okay. I, I'm sorry about that. No, you, no, you go. I, I yeah, don't, keep I, rolling, son. Hey, do it's, not it's, try it's, and I, stop the Holy Spirit. You no, tell us what you like to say. It's the one when, when you're talking about, okay. He drew, he, he drew his first he, breath. Jesus, when he, he began to breathe. All hail King Jesus? I don't know the name. Yeah, I like that. That's man. a jam. That's hey. a like that. But you, you every, solid on name that too, and it works. No, 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 no I, I'm telling it's like you. Your grand, it's think. like your granddaddy wrote a song, bro. That might have happened too. Hey, right Songs now, of faith and praise. Just Go get your it, Just saying it. <laughs> 
I've got I've got chill marks all over my body. That's probably all hell King What's Jesus. What's that one? Going? That's a shame. I, I enjoy that one. Yo, and Missy sings that one. Oh, that's our God is an awesome God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. That's uh, I like uh, it is well with my soul. I like that. That's, that's a good I, that's one. A, I they like sing that. that one at my every, papa's every funeral. Every time I do so that, I always remember. Yeah. Uh, that's a jam. Dane, Dane, and Big Boy. Yep. Yeah. That's a jam. And that's what they sang at his funeral. Oh, it's gonna be at mine too. Oh yeah. yeah, I love it. So. Yeah. Uh, yep. So new song though. Yeah. That's the power that's by Hillsong. By Don't Hillsong. Know that if one, you yeah. haven't, heard, it's it came out. My I got a friend that's a, a worship pastor. He texted it to me one morning. He said, "Bro, it's a jam." And I said, "Yeah, it's it is." Jam. I listened to it. I was like, "It's a jam." It is a that's jam. What's up. There's a bunch of so jam. check now, though. That's the power. That's, that's the, the power. power. I've got the power. Oh, it's good. <laughs> but yeah, I like all worship music though. You get me going. Yeah. You get me going with yeah, songs. I, I, can I can't it. sing. I can't play an instrument. I can't do nothing. No, but I can roll them windows up and let it rip. But so. I know the words. Yeah. Um. I can't totally. All right, last one. Let's all right, last one. one. This one's no fun, honestly. Okay. This one's not going to be fun, but I, I feel the need to uh, Let's do it. give a prayer request that uh, somebody said. And you know what? This guy's having fun because he's in heaven now. A pastor named Roger out of Vero Beach, Florida, uh, Freedom Church. They actually had Phil come speak. Suddenly passed away. Uh, his buddy Joey um, emailed in and just asked us to pray for him and, and give a shout out. And, you know, Roger, I don't know this guy's church. I don't know much about him. I, there's a picture of him and Phil together. Uh, here's a picture of him preaching. Uh, but he's had an impact on this man's life, and it's because he chose to, uh, you know, be a pastor that's awesome and be a preacher and that's not an easy job um and he organized a bunch of cool stuff according to joey and here's a picture of him and phil real quick yep. if i can get this computer <laughs> yep. to work right um yep but man that's sad and we're going to definitely pray for the church that this man's gone on to be with the lord but this man right here wouldn't come back and hang out with us if he could Guaranteed. i would just fix that he's done achieve what we all yeah. are looking yeah. forward to and we weren't yeah. Here on Earth, okay. probably ready for it, Ugh. but I promise you, he's excited yeah. right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's down there saying, "Y'all get up here." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all come on now. I will pray for his family. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'll pray for his family. Yeah. Pray for his I'm church. Cause, now, yeah, because that would be. He tough. don't need it. Yeah, he don't need <laughs> no, it. He's no. there. He there. He's there. Okay. Yeah, because that's tough for a church to go through. Yeah. But what a what a great example and something to look forward to of yeah. seeing. Uh, Pastor Raj, one day again, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say hey to. I never even met the guy, but one day I'll get to say hey. Yeah. I read about you on a podcast. That's that right, man. Twenty seven people. We talked about you. You must have been one up. Well, send us out of here with a Bible verse. All right. Well, Let's we started with road. rainbows. Let's end with rainbows. Genesis nine, uh, right after the flood, and God said, "This is the sign of the covenant I'm making between me and you, and every living creature with you, a covenant for generations to come." I've set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and earth. Dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to skip down to 16. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures so of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all the life on earth. So when you see a rainbow, remember... It's God's promise not to ever flood the earth again, which I'm fired up about because I live here. Mm -hmm. And he made an even better covenant. One day he's coming back. And Preach he's it. taking us with him to go see uh, old Pastor Raj up there Preach one day. It, boys. That's I, awesome. I'll get fired up about some Genesis. Hey, and, can, and the rainbow. Thank you, Lord, for that. I can mm -hmm. dig it. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Right okay, here. bye. Bye. I will. If you well, bye. Bye.